Thank you for your interest in the Healing Trust grant program. We have recently changed our grant management system and now use giving data for our application intake process. In this video, I will walk you through accessing the online grantee portal and submitting an application. The URL entered into the browser is specific for this grant cycle and can be accessed on our website. For the Thriving Communities application, enter in your browser, tht-portal.givingdata.com front slash campaign front slash thriving communities. If you're applying for the Resilient Families Grant, which is open in the summer, please note this URL will be different and should be located on our website. First, you will need to create an account. Organizations who have submitted an application to the trust in the past still need to create an account since we're using a new grant management system. Click create an account and follow the steps as you're prompted to activate your account using your email. Once your account is created, you can log in to begin your application. Please make note of your credentials as you can save your application and return to it later. Next, you'll click start a new grant application to begin. If you're returning to an application, this box here states in progress. You'll click here to access the grant application you started. Once submitted, the application will state submitted and your information can be viewed but not mod modified. For this demo, we'll click start a new grant application. You'll be prompted to enter your organization's credentials. You can do so by selecting searching the IRS database and entering your tax ID or organization legal name. If you prefer, you can simply enter your organization name. Next, click the organization and click Start Grant Application. We'll now select Open Grant Application. You'll be directed to the eligibility page, complete the questions, and select Submit. If eligible, you'll be directed to a landing page with instructions on how to move through the application. After reviewing, select Start Application. If you save your application and come back later, you'll still see a Start Application button even though you're returning to the application you previously started. You'll move to the Organization and Grant Information page. If you associated your organization with the application using the IRS database feature, some information will populate. Check for accuracy and make edits as needed. If these fields are not completed, please enter your information. If your organization is using a fiscal sponsor, please apply for the grant using your organization's information and simply note you have a fiscal sponsor using the drop-down menu when prompted. If you are awarded a grant, we will follow up for more information about your sponsor upon contracting. Please review our website to determine your requested grant amount as these amounts are based on your budget size. For questions that have a checkbox, please select the boxes next to the appropriate selections for your organization. You can also click the box again to deselect that option. At the bottom of every page, you'll see the back button and the next button. These allow you to move through the application. And if you move to another tab without completing all the required questions, no check mark will appear on the tab. Once you have completed all required questions, the check mark will appear. You'll also notice a flag this step button. If you click this button, a flag will appear on the associated tab to the right. There's also a save and come back later option and a view print application option, which allows you to print your application including your responses. Next, we'll move to the contacts page. On this page, you'll be prompted to enter a minimum of three contacts. The application contact, which is the person we should notify regarding the status of this grant, an organization primary contact, who is typically the CEO or ED of the organization, and finally, a media contact, who is the person we should not notify with any media opportunities. Please note the same person may be entered for various contact fields. To enter the information, click Select Contact. The person who created the account will appear. If this is the contact you would like to enter, select the box next to the name. If not, select Add New Contact and complete all required fields. You will notice a flag that says Incomplete if there are fields that need to be completed. 
click the pencil next to the edit button to enter the required details. You can click the deselect button if you would like to remove the contact. Next, you'll be prompted to complete the narrative questions. Some applicants find it helpful to work in a Word document and copy and paste the responses into the application. Remember, if you need to exit your application, you can always save and come back later. Next are the financial attachments. Select your financial year end from the dropdown and then submit the required attachments. You can drag and drop your folders into the your files into the box or upload your, from your computer by pushing select file and locating the correct document. Finally, review the thank you and next steps page before preparing to submit. Remember, if you flagged any pages or haven't completed all required questions, you will not be able to submit your application without addressing those first. After you submit, you will receive an email confirmation. If you have additional questions, please email grants at healingtrust.org and we will be in touch. We look forward to reading your applications and working together to support our community.